The protracted political struggle over the South Korean crypto tax has entered a new, and possibly decisive chapter, with the major parties reaching a de facto consensus over a delay that could see traders allowed to transact tax-free until 2024. As reported, both major parties have pledged to dump their hardline stance on crypto in what most analysts agree is a concerted vote grab ahead of next year's general elections, to be held in March 2022. The ruling Democratic Party presidential nominee Lee Jae-myung has backed a year-long delay to the tax, which is slated to launch on January 1, 2021. Unless it is unamended, a soon-to-promulgate package of tax laws will see annual crypto trading profits of over 2 US dollars, 100 taxed at a flat rate of 20%. Lee's opposition rival also wants to delay the tax by at least 12 months, and a crypto sector champion, the opposition People's Power Party MP Cho Myung-hee has led a tireless campaign to derail the tax. The matter came to a head this Thursday when a large glut of crypto tax delaying private members' bills hit the parliamentary committee stage. Committee members had voted in favor of bringing a draft amendment to the National Assembly, only for the government to make a last gasp intervention. The Moon Jae-in administration has taken a hardline stance on crypto, banning initial coin offerings, ECOs, and blocking games that make use of tradable non-fungible tokens NFTs. But the Moon government is about to run out of road, either Lee or his opponent Yoon suk yeol is almost certain to succeed the president in March. Now, Chosen reported, the ruling and opposition parties tentatively agreed to push ahead with a one-year deferral by amending the Income Tax Act at the Tax Subcommittee meeting of the National Assembly's Strategy and Finance Committee. 